Well, today some transportation advocates traveled to Albany, New York to call on lawmakers and the governor there to allocate more funding into transportation infrastructure programs. Our New York Capitol Bureau reporter Elise Klein talked to ad advocates and lawmakers about what an increase in funding could mean for local roads and infrastructure across the Empire State. She's live in Albany tonight. Elise? Ethan, Ava, there were hundreds of local transportation advocates here today pushing for more funding into local transportation infrastructure. And some advocates tell me the cost of construction materials continues to rise with inflation. And so they say any increase in funding could go a long way. Governor Kathy Hochul's state budget proposes maintaining funding for the Consolidated Local Street and Highway Improvement Program, or CHIPS, at $577.8 million. Some lawmakers say this is not enough, especially for local municipalities who rely heavily on funding from the CHIPS program. Those municipalities who CHIPS either makes up all of their local roads budget or a very substantial portion of it, the only option they have to improve their roads beyond that is raising property taxes. We all know where property taxes are in New York State. That's not a viable option in most of our communities. O'Mara says the funding for CHIPS and other infrastructure programs like Pave New York and Pave Our Potholes has been flat for the past few years. Senator O'Mara, Assemblymember Phil Pomisano, and some of their Senate and Assembly colleagues recently sent a letter to the governor asking for a $200 million increase in base funding for the CHIPS program and a $70 million increase to the Extreme Winter Recovery Program. So if we can get this increase in the CHIPS program and the Extreme Winter Recovery, it would make a significant difference for our local communities and also for the property taxpayers. Every dollar we invest in the CHIPS program saves the local property taxpayer $1. Some local advocates say with the cost of construction materials rising with inflation, an increase in funding to these infrastructure programs would have a significant impact. We're just band-aiding a lot of our roads. I mean, not just me, but, you know, all the municipalities. Any increase in funding for these infrastructure programs will have to go through the final state budget, which is due on April 1st. For Erie News Now, I'm Elise Klein. Ethan, Eva, back to you.